motivational speaker for kids, and much more, has created something special that we want to share with you. Yeah, I've gotten to know Kevin. His name is Kevin Zuala, uh, but he goes by the name Mr. Peace for his performances. And he came That's up great. with so a So you are a graduate of U of M, and right. you have a master's from Wayne State. Correct. How did you start rapping? I know Chucky e. G, or Chuck G, as I call him, <laughs> was an inspiration to you, but what made you be like, yeah, I want to rap? Right, so I finished my MBA uh, from Wayne State in 2010, wow. and I was in the auto industry for about five years, okay. and I made the leap of faith. Uh, so after five years in corporate America, I decided to leave uh, to go after my greater passion, which is our youth. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I know that hip hop is something that they can relate to. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. doing all this poetry and Weird Al Yankovic being a big inspiration when I was growing up about writing my own parodies, I ended up uh, kind of putting the poetry to a beat. Uh -huh. yeah. and, that, and that's how the rap started. All right, so what's your message to kids? Uh, so the main message is that um, bullying, we know, is mm -hmm. something that has to happen over and over and over again on purpose to get power over somebody. Mm -hmm. But the things that aren't bullying, like the one-time action or the one-time word, something that just takes two seconds can still hurt somebody forever. Sure. So my main message is that hurt people hurt people, mm -hmm. and that's a choice. Mm -hmm. But it's also a choice that healed people heal people. Okay. Yeah. So what are the cups about? Because this is right. part of your so visual what I always tell people, you know, like our heart, which is as big as our fist, right? Um, I tell people to pretend that our heart is like this empty cup. And when we're born, we're free of pain, but little by little, this cup, which is our heart, it starts to get full, right? And we have painful memories and people tell us that we're not good enough or that we're worthless, whatever it is, right? So it mm -hmm. kind of becomes cloudy and dark, mm -hmm. but eventually if we choose this, cause there's always room for love if we let it, then the hurt people hurt people becomes healed people who heal people. Oh, that's wow, very cool. I love it. Yeah. yeah. And the bracelets, you shared this with me before when we first met. Yeah. Are these all from kids? Yeah, so I have thousands of these. I have only took uh, one of the bags with me today, and yeah. I always put about 10 on before my assembly programs. It's, it's, it kind of becomes my armor, right? Mm -hmm. Because every bracelet that was given to me was given to me by a student that said, Mr. Peace, if you weren't here today, I wouldn't be here tomorrow. Wow. Come and on. that's yeah. kind of how serious the bullying epidemic is getting. And so if I'm able to just share my heart in hopes to just touch a small piece of theirs, sometimes I have 20 minutes with them, sometimes a full hour, but every one of these students kind of let go of their pain mm -hmm. uh, yeah. through the tears, through the bracelets, and I kind of took that on, um, but then I said that they don't have to bear it anymore. Right. So how, do, how are kids responding to you? Because, like, we were talking about bullying yesterday. Mm -hmm. I was bullied as a kid, but today right. it's... 10 times, 100 times worse than it was right. before. So how do kids respond? Well, the biggest thing that I show them, right, is, uh, is, is my heart, that I have to be real with them because mm. they're not going to respond if I'm not. Right. And I tell people, like I said, like the heart is as big as your fist, but the idea is that if you let love penetrate this, then this can turn into this. Right. And I try to remind them, too, you guys all have an M etched on your palms, right? Like mm -hmm. the letter M, which stands for Michigan. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> it, it, the, this letter M stands for Someone that is truly um, a miracle. Yeah. And I kind of get a little choked up just talking about it, but uh, upside down, it's worthy. And so if, if I can remind them, all these people yeah. out there, that they are miracles, right? And that they focus on that instead of all the negative comments and all the lies that come at them, right? Yeah. Then they're able to show the people love, which are the, are, are the bullies, people that are screaming inside, that are hurting it in their hearts, and that we try to show them that, like the opposite of what they expect, you know? Well, you're a blessing awesome. to so many. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.